Do you want the absolute best price in selling your games and consoles? You come to the right place. So here's my little setup. You can see the lamp there. And when you want to take the picture, you want to have a nice dark background that doesn't contrast with the color too much. So I think your dining room table, like my one, should be absolutely perfect. And uh, this lamp is about $25 on Amazon, something like that, not too expensive. Just a little button here. And it's very important that it gets illuminated because especially in eBay, the buyers want to see an eBay, Facebook marketplace, something like that. The buyers want to see the most detail that they can get. You know, any sort of marks you want to have on your console, the buyer wants to know. And for the main photo, such as this one, everything you sell of the console, you want it to be visible. And the reason why you want the light is you want the light to illuminate, as I said before. And it's very important, don't have the light above, because as you know, if you ever try to take a picture around 12 o'clock noon time, because the sun's at the lowest, at the highest point, sorry, at the lowest point, you know, it's hard to take a good picture. So ideally you want to have your light to the side, either right or the left, to get the best possible picture that you can get. Hi, I'm Dylan the Gaming Guy and in this channel I'm going to have all the best up to date gaming news, how to's and everything else gaming consoles related. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And for a video game, it's even easier to take a picture. All you're literally, literally going to need is one picture of the case, one picture behind of the case and obviously the most important thing, you want a picture like this. So they can, the customer can see if you have instructions. I don't think this came with instructions and obviously that you actually have the disc. You could show a picture of the disc like this as well to make sure if there's any serious scratches. A little scratch there, but it should be okay. The most important step to your success with selling any game or eBay console or console on eBay, you're gonna have to price it correctly. So for example, I'm selling the Xbox One S, one terabyte, so tick the storage capacity that applies to you, the color, don't think that really matters, and go to used, because obviously mine's used, not manufactured, and then slap it to sold items. So what you wanna do to take an average of what you wanna list your item, you wanna see the least that it's sold for. So for example, this is the lowest it's sold for. Now this is a crime, he only sold for 83 pounds, so the guy or girl got really, really short change. And you can see like it fluctuates a lot, 160, you know what I mean? So for example, this is 160, so exactly the same with my console, without any games. So I know I can price it at more than 160 because obviously I have the two games. Obviously, if you write down the games that you're going to sell with your bundle. Pre-owned, so boom, this is exactly what I know. I know that Red Dead Redemption went for £9.50 pre-owned. So I know my one can be worth 950 So I know based on how well the xbox one s has sold for on ebay you know what i mean i know i can price my bundle with resident evil to about 160 ish but i'm going to explain in a later video because ebay take that chunky chunky 15 percent of everything you earn so what you're going to do to find out if it's worth it to sell on ebay is you're going on ebay fee calculator so boom i assume that i'll make 175 pound i'll put the shipping charge iron cost and then exactly you see, so I so eBay is gonna charge me £18.23 and a PayPal fee of £5.559. My total profit of that 175 would only be 158, which is you know a considerable, considerable decrease. So you know, I actually lose quite a lot of money. So that's what I'm saying. The problem with selling on eBay, I think this fee, this 10% isn't too substantial when you only, for example, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption wouldn't be too much. 136, like a second class. And then boom, you see that I only will lose, you know, £1.70. That's not that big of a difference compared to 950 whereas if it was 175 if you're selling a console, a PS4, you know, a laptop, a camera, this is going to be a big, 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 big cut. So I'd rather you, it's better, it makes more sense to sell lower ticket items versus the chunkier consoles that are better sold on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree. Whenever you're selling a game, don't worry about buy it now. Only worry about bids. This is how you wanna sell, you have your Xbox One game. See the map, everything's available. So I know 
the condition is very good I can make at least I should start my starting bid at five pound because one person has bidded at five pound you understand so it makes perfect sense for me to start the bid nothing too fancy for example Xbox One S it won't be all edition or digital edition it will be Xbox One S terabyte were red so maybe RD2 plus Resident Evil 2 something like that it doesn't have to be too special Subtitle, don't worry about any of this crap where you have to pay more money in it and this is important for the condition you always want to round down because one of the important things about eBay is your I can't remember it is but it's your reputation so if for example it's good and you, it's not it's okay and you list it as you know you know really really good quality then when someone gets it they can round you down they could give you bad reputation so you always want to round down so in this case because it's in very good condition i would say it's used because that's what it is with consoles with games it'll be different condition description this is pretty important so you just say bought in december 2019 ready you know, here you have your stock photos. Obviously, you just slap in. So, for example, the photos I just took, you know, I'm just gonna slap them all there, no problem. All effort. You know, this is why I think with a phone it's a lot easier because, you know, sometimes I don't know if about you, but with my DSLR it takes a long, long time. So, boom, I'm gonna slap it on there. Never have a stock photo because, in my opinion, whenever I see a stock photo on, fate on eBay, you know, I don't really like it because it sort of conveys that it's a scam. So here, boom, obviously this isn't the best, best picture. You want to make it as small as possible. So use their in-house crop tool, crop it to make sure it's, you know, looking good. So especially for a console, you want in the first picture, think about it like a headline in the newspaper, yeah? You want the immediate things to grab the person's attention. So straight away, you can see, boom, it's the original manufacturer's box. There's Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil, there's one controller, there's HDMI cable and there's a power cable. Obviously I could have put the power cable in a different way but and this is why because eBay and I think Facebook Marketplace have, you know, a little one, two, three, four, so 12, 12 photos. You want to use all the photos that you can, you know what I mean? This Obviously this is a demonstration but I would make them as small as possible and when you're selling games you want to quickly show them that you have the discs and the instruction manual, you know what I mean? I, and then you want a picture where, you know, this one's a good example. I want to make it small as possible. And obviously this is showcasing that your console is live and working. Obviously, if you're like me and you're selling your GameCube without any cables, then it obviously is more and more difficult. You can see, clearly see the Xbox One S and you can see that it's working, that's outputting. People want to know that what they're buying is, is good. So, you know, simple, all the pictures I showed you, you know, just get the console, turn it around. So it, let's say for example I wanted to sell this, I wanted to sell this heavy bag here. Yeah? To make it easier for you, you go to sell one like this, sell it yourself. So whatever console or game you're selling, just find a similar listing and then boom, eBay will automatically put in, fill this stuff for you. Yeah, don't worry about that. Because one of the trick is you go to an eBay listing of the thing you want and you just click on next to the listing, I'll show you. So that's an example. Now you don't have to worry about most of this stuff. Don't worry about all this crap. Item description, you can just say, just, you know, if you're if you're selling a game and it has a defect, like the case is a bit messed up, this is where you would have it. And this is obviously the important thing. Always, and this is an insider tip here, yeah, you should always start your auctions on a Thursday at 10 o'clock. And if you start on a Thursday, this means your auction's gonna end on Sunday. Sunday at 10 o'clock, I think there's a, Facebook, I mean, sorry, eBay study, and most of the time, the best auctions will finish on a Sunday between seven and 10. And 10 days is just giving your auction as many, much time as possible for people to have eyeballs on it. In my opinion, I select 10, just because people, because the smartphones are staying up later and later, and I think 10 is the perfect amount where people are still gonna be knowledgeable about the auction. So always, always, always schedule to start Thursday at 10 p.m. And for the starting price, as I said, you have to be careful with it. You don't want to start your price too low. For example, if I started my price at 80 pounds, which is like, you know, $100, and someone buys it, you know, I'm pissed. You know, there might, oh, there might only be one bid on the whole auction. So 
do not put the but the thing is you don't want to put it too you don't want to put it too high either because obviously this is probably worth about you know I'm selling it for example on eBay marketplace for 175 I'll be very very happy if I get it for 175 it's probably worth a little bit less than that but the difference between eBay marketplace and eBay is because this can go up you know I saw as we did our research before I saw some Xbox is going for 160 you know what I mean for just the Xbox so obviously it is possible for it to go more but I think you know you don't want to have it too high so if I just slap 150 you know no one's gonna bid for it you know what I mean no one's gonna bid for it you're gonna have to re re put the auction on this long so you want to have put it in between that spot where it's not too low or not too high like some people I would have it you know auction there at 99p now obviously gets more and more people interested in it. I probably I probably would put this up for a hundred. I think a hundred is a good price. Like I would be pretty annoyed if it just followed sold for a hundred, but I won't be too too annoyed. You know, sell as lot, you do this if uh, obviously you're selling a bundle of different games. Dem domestic returns accepted, I don't put any of this crap. Your posters and packaging, again, with your posters and packaging, you wanna go and search for different items. And so they'll tell you on the listings whether or not how much posters. For example, seven pound twenty-eight, seven pound twenty-eight. If I see in the seven pound twenty-eight, so obviously you know you have to package it around seven pound twenty-eight. I won't do free posters and packaging unless you're all, you know knowledgeable of that. You know, raw mail, second class or first class, whatever you choose, it's up to you. Most people nowadays want first class, so you slap it on first class. You could do eBay pack link where eBay pick up your package and send it. I've done it myself before and it worked okay, but I think raw mail or whatever your equivalent in the US will be more than adequate. And then you just slap, you know, preview. This will display fees. I'm not going to actually search it. And immediately you can see your the condition bought in December the 2013, rarely used, starting bid. You know, they can see all the pictures there. But as long as you do all the steps that I've spoken about, spoken about then you know you should find good success in selling your items so make sure whenever you ship domestically or internationally consoles they're wrapped up in you know cheap bubble wrap just to make sure no damage happened to the console controllers as well deep into the box put some parchment paper or wrapping paper to stop the console from banging around as you can see both the xbox and xbox one s controller are sufficiently wrapped it won't take too long. I wouldn't really bother too much about wrapping the games because obviously they have their protective casing in the case. Hi, I'm Dylan the Gaming Guy and in this channel I'm going to have all the best up to date gaming news, how to's and everything else gaming consoles related. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.